Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you editing of a portrait and I'll give you the camera preset or settings in my video description for your practice purpose and you can use it for your photography editing purpose. So I'm going to the file and open it up and today I downloaded this image for you. So I deleted this one. Uh, last week or before the last week, uh, I edited this photo, same photo. But uh, today I'll edit this photo like uh, the other purpose or other techniques. So at first, I'm just made a copy by pressing Ctrl J and go to the filter and camera filter camera filter is that ultimate solution where you can get all the settings and color loops or other like uh, the curves and color correction options and the effects option and camera calibration as well and this one is just mandatory for a photographer those who are involved with the portrait photography and this is the best place to do just uh, make preset like Lightroom so personally I do prefer the Lightroom but uh, Photoshop is more comfortable to use that suppose uh, the overlay the bokeh or other kind of effects I can use over here so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so here I am in a basic panels and from here I'll do it uh, natural uh, editing uh, it could be kind of loud type so here is the red but if I reduce the red luminance value the face will be destroyed so uh, I'm making it zero but saturation I can increase but hue I have to luminance or just hue I have to change suppose if I made it like that it will be neutralized just because of face could be like that so here the orange I'll mix up with the orange and red just because of the balance for the face yeah that's good so I'm zooming in this one so after that here is the purple options in the just here in the dress here is the purple color that's why I'm just increasing the saturation and the pink color as well so don't up the pink color just because of here is the pimples pimples care it will be prominent so for that I'll reduce that yeah a little bit that's good and then I'll work with the green color so I'll reduce the green like that yeah and the saturation of green and luminance of green I'll reduce the value and hue I'll make the value like minus 46 and then I'll go to the camera calibration options if I make it like that it will be like orange and teal color if I make it like that <laughs> it's not teal color so I'll make it teal color but primary red I'll just make it like that and saturation I'll decrease but green color I'll adjust the green with color so yeah and then again hue saturation options I'll reduce the saturation of blue a little bit and the luminance of blue I'll decrease a little bit so that's good yeah red color yeah I'll give that and then the curves curve stone and blue curve stone I'll make it blue curve stone like wormy yeah that's cool and then the red options I'll make it red like this the balance with the blue and red and the green as well so I'll make the green color like this that's good and then the RGB color I'll select here and then I'll make it like that yeah and the loud 
own so and then exposure i'll up make it up and the blacks i'll make it down and then the saturation from here i'll increase so if you make it cool it will just destroy it just face look at the face just prominenting no i won't do that so i'll make it warmy color like plus two is good okay that's good and let's see the before one and after one yeah before and after so i'll save the settings and i'll give it to you that means the download link check out the download link i'll give the name girl 3 so hit the ok button and then i'll work with that and then i'll go to the just solid color and use the solid color like that and reduce the opacity like this so you can change the color like if i make it like this okay and then i'll just overlay this one i'll reduce the opacity yeah and then if i change the color let's see the changes of the scenario of the whole picture if i make it like that yeah or if i make it like this this or this so you can use your own overlay like that this one is the techniques of color grading or the photo filter you can use it actually the photo filter so you don't have to use photo filter from the preset you can use your or make your own photo filter so i'll make it like this little bit over me yeah and hit the ok button i'm giving the name photo filter so after that i'll select these two things make it group and right press and the convert to smart object just because of if i want to replace here another photo uh, i can use it i'll show you how to do that if i double press over here the image will open up in this window and you can embed another image uh, suppose like this so and hit ok and save it it will save in this so this one is a technique to use of smart object so after that go to the filter and the google nick collection color effects pro 4 and i will add another effect from the google nick collection and after that i will work with the lips and then i'll finish the editing so it's loading the google uh, nick collection color effects pro and hit the ok button and from here cross processing and lots of methods over here you can use one of them so i'll use the l03 so hit ok yeah that's fine that's cool actually so after that let's see the before one and after one so and then go to the levels option and adjust the level like that and the like that yeah that's cool and then take a new blank layer and go to the foreground color and choose the color from here the dark color yeah and go to the brush options make the brush size smaller like this using the third bracket opening or closing for the brush size and just take the same tone but uh, in the upper side so then just yeah brush over here and make it overlay or you can make it multiply yeah and reduce the opacity and just delete the just delete that portion which you take this one yeah the outside of the lips color so that's nice and brush this portion yeah this portion is main and use the eraser for the teeth ok 
Okay, that's good. That's nice actually. And the opacity you can increase and decrease, but I'll keep this like 66 percent and soft light you can use a soft light yeah soft light is another good options it could be the good options so yeah that's good let's see the before one and after one so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye